Heidi ho neighbors, squiggly diggly. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? What Flanders used to say, man? Uh, Ned Flanders. Ned Flanders. Heidi ho neighbors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Today we're gonna do the gratitude tag. We've been putting a lot of gratitude tags, yep. and so we was like, well, man, we gotta reciprocate the love man so we we definitely gotta put the good vibes back out there and be thankful Facts. show what we're thankful for and every for everyone else you know before we get into it we also we want to shout some of the bigger content creators in oh, the yeah, yeah, book yeah. community um you know daniel green dg uh murphy Murph. um Elliot Brooks. So, side note, this has nothing to do with any um, conversation we've ever had with Murphy or anything like that. But every time I hear her name, I call her Murph, mm -hmm. and I think of RoboCop. Murph. Murph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Murph. I'm sorry. Yes. Just... Murph is dope. Uh, <laughs> she's so cool. Um, Eb. Eb is one of the first people shout Elliot us out, Brooks. and we appreciate that. Um, and and we've been interacted with uh, Reagan from Peru's yeah. Project. You know, yeah. our comments sometimes. So. Thank y'all. You know, this list is going to be mostly about people who, you know, smaller side, not in comparison to y'all because we're not big by any minute, um, any measure. Uh, but, you know, we wanted to show some of that love that's been put our way and put it back out into the community. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. Cool. So first question is, which booktuber has the best aesthetic? Um, also, because there's two of us, we're going to double up on all our answers. Hit two people double. out, you know. Uh, so one of the first people I chose was Tori Morrow from mm -hmm. the channel or Tori from the channel Tori Morrow uh, She just has these like pristine white bookshelves with all these dope books and like Her angle is this kind of like, has like the sun ray shot in back and it's just it just seems like the best place you want to be like it's just you just She's like alright and she has like her high energy matches the brightness and just happiness vibes of her yeah. space that she's reviewing it, right? Yeah. So it just makes me happy watching her videos and she's just like, how y'all doing? You know, today we're gonna talk about this. And like, she even makes like books that she doesn't like, like sound just good. Like it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's <laughs> something happy or good about it. Like you, you, she might have a like a view that she didn't like and you still leave feeling good about it because it's just like her vibes just come off very good. The other person we really like is our homie LZ from the Nerdy Narrative. Uh, I think one thing I really like about her is how she changes up her space, right? Yeah. So, like, for um, Halloween, she had, like, skulls and all these she things. She dressed up, too. She, cos she, dressed, she, she cosplays. She cosplays. You know, Christmas, she she's singing. Elves and singing. She had trees. Yeah. Um, St. Patrick's Day, she had was, like, all greened out. Had yeah. little hollies and stuff like that. So, LZ, like, she she goes fully in. Yeah. You know, there's not no half-stepping in her game. No. Right? No. So... All right, we rock with those aesthetics for sure. Question yep. number two: Which booktuber has the best editing? Uh, for the first one, I said Michael Nip. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, he he's got this new clean dapper look where yeah. he's got like his little his dope hat and his joint. Mm -hmm. um, but he still sometimes does the videos where he has the fake. Um, bookshelf in the background yeah. and then like he'll bounce himself all over the area <laughs> like he'll be like upside down here he'll be in the corner over there yeah. and he'll be over there and it's just like it's funny it entertains me like because i'm always like where is he gonna go now where is he gonna go now mm -hmm. um but it's cool you know so and the other one is Ridma. um i've seen her do so she, her normal conversation videos um she, sometimes she's in the garage or in the room she's talking but she's done these videos where she does these like voiceovers mm -hmm. um and i think she's done like some will of time joints she might have done like a Mal malazan joint yeah. where she does like this voiceover and so she edits like maybe things that are um connect to whatever she's saying mm -hmm. over her voice it's like it's, like a little like dissertation or yeah something. or like a documentary it, it makes <laughs> yeah. me feel like that like I'm, I'm like i'm learning something very educational yeah. Um, in her joints, she so, convinces like she got me wanting to read Will of Time. Yeah, and she got me wanting to read Mal Mal Malazan. Malazan, we say we butcher it all the time. Um, but yes, and so the way she does that, I was like, that's really dope. So it's yeah. it's something that like I enjoy watching when she does those things. Yeah, so no doubt, no doubt. Which booktuber do you love watching for their personality? So first person we got is Tiana, Tiana. from Tiana's T. <laughs> um, she just has this like, I, don't I, don't, know, I, I feel like I'm um, I don't know like. You know how like on um, on TV shows and movies they have like certain like um, media personalities. Mm -hmm. Like she seems like she, she does. Is that. She does. You know what I'm saying? She does. She does like, have like this media personality type of yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. And it's like this like it's like this effortless like <laughs> way of talking and getting a point across with like not a lot of energy but a lot of impact. You yeah. know, like, like she's not yelling at you. She'd be like. 
Matter of fact, like you should definitely go do that if you really about it. Like <laughs> that's something you should do. And I'm like, you are right. Like I feel you. You know. Yeah. Um. So her her energy and the way she delivers her points is yeah. very like like you said, very media personality yeah. in the best way. Yeah. So we really rock with her. And the other person who I just I laugh a lot with is Monty. Um, Monty Price. He just his his <laughs> he and he so he's the person that has like a lot of high energy in his videos and it's like very matter of fact everything he says and i'd be like oh all I right feel like i feel like i feel like if i want to see somebody slay something i go to monty monty will definitely slay something <laughs> very fast um and that's that's part that's part of entertaining for me like i'm like oh monty didn't like this no, this ought to be good because he, he oh what did monty not like oh, no, well yeah go ahead man look like i got that popcorn like why tell me why you like it okay oh word. all right so um yes i, I definitely go through it to it from the slate yeah. so shout out to you man shout out to monty monty price <laughs> yes um so question number four which uh who has super original content olivia her book defacing is just fire like, fire, fire. Like some of the dopest talent I've seen. Like I wish I could like doodle on my book and it not look like you know my daughter did it and and she's two, so she just it don't. I love it, baby. but it just it don't it don't it look crazy. So I mine will probably look like that, um, but hers just look like it looks pristine. It looks like something that you should buy off the shelves. Her book to face videos definitely commissioned. <laughs> um, so her that joint that element also is awesome. like um. She does these joints where like uh, she was doing it back in the fall, um, like October. She did like this Halloween theme where it was like things were like moving and like could you figure out what was moving, yeah. what happened, or like there'd be like a weird sound that happened over there and then the camera would cut. Yeah, um, just stuff like that. It's just, it's just fun. Man. It is fun. It's, just, it's, it's it, you look forward to watching it. Um, yeah, and uh, we enjoy it a lot. Yeah, shout yep. out to Libby. And the other person um, that we have is Angela from Literature Science Alliance. Um, her, she does very unique themed things. So she'll, you know, do a, a readathon about this, or you know, Stormlight related, or um, another series that she really likes related. She also pull her boyfriend Ron. I think it's Ron and his name. She'll put him in there, and he'll do his book calls, or they'll do some buddy reads or, or buddy reactions together about mm -hmm. what they think and have some banter. So she does very. Um, you know, and her, I think the origins of her channel is about trying to find like the science behind some of the literature and like how things would actually work and break down. Um, so those things are very cool that I think that she does. Yeah, so, no doubt, for sure. Who has the best reading vlogs? So the first person that came to mind is Jade from the um, Bedtime Bookworm. I really like the one she did where um, she was playing Ghost of Tsushima. Uh -huh. I she did a vlog on that? Yeah, she did a vlog. Oh, well, she was vlogging about a book. I don't remember what the book was, but okay. I specifically remember she was playing Ghost of Tsushima that weekend or something like that. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh man, like, I can rock, I can rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, got, she, has, she has such good vlogs. Like, you, yeah. like she does perfect check-in points and like she gives you her like immediate reaction and feedback and like, okay, like this, I, I wasn't really feeling that at first, but as I read more, it you know, fun watching, good. watching hers too, because I, I remember we were reading Stormlight, some of the Stormlight books. Yes, she's done a lot of those vlogs. Um, and those, those are really good to check in too. Yeah. Like, all right, like a lot going on. Like, what does what Jade think? Let me yeah. see, let me see. And it was good yeah. to refresh it too, because I remember, I think we, our, her videos would come out probably right after we had finished maybe part of that. So yep. it was like, it was cool to kind of see her vlog and then kind of catch up like, okay, okay, th this is the recap of yeah. what happened and see her, like I said, think, I think we've only done like one vlog, like the joint when you was going up the mountain for Oathbringer. Yeah. Um, but she inspires us to maybe want to do more vlogs. Like seeing yeah, her yeah. vlog is like, I want to see more vlogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the other person we pick is Jaleesa from Bounded and Bookmark. Mm -hmm. um, she just has very like <laughs> um, authentic. Yeah, Jaleesa be cool. She, she be chilling, man. Yeah. She, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just, she's just comfortable with yes. the camera and how yes. she talks. And so it's just, it feels like you just chilling with your homegirl. Exactly, telling you about, exactly. You know, the book Very conversational read. type yeah. of, of, of thing in her vlogs where yeah. you're like, all right, cool, y'all. We're going to break this down while I cook this in the background. Like, we just gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what's going on in this book. So, mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. dope. Who is the funniest booktuber that you watch? So, I couldn't think of this kind of without thinking about Alan from Library <laughs> Alexandria. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched a video of his and not like chuckled. 
or then and then laughed out loud after chuckling. There's, um, there's one I remember vividly. Was and this the one where he? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's there's two. Okay. And they're always the the beginning part for his uh, yeah for his uh, what they call them patrons Patreon yeah um and the first one I know I know one of the first about. one he he was in his trunk of his car. <laughs> <laughs> And you know he uses like that old English. Like, yeah, it, it's just freaking hilarious. Hilarious. And then the second one, the second one, I had to message him. I had well, to, I had to text had to, him. Out. Yeah, yeah, I had, yeah. To, I had to message him and said, I was watching a video, and um, he was like crawling through the hallway, and then uh, the camera was behind the vent, and so he was talking to the camera, and then the whole time the camera is like moving, so it's like obviously someone's holding this camera, and so I, I was like. Yo, who did he get to? First of all, the con what he was saying was hilarious. Yeah. And then I had messaged him. I was like, bro, who did you have holding that camera? Like, who did you convince to hold that yeah, camera? Yeah. Oh man, I had my wife do that. <laughs> she wasn't happy. And I was like, oh my God, I just died laughing. Like, like, I'll go, if I want to laugh, I'll go back um, specifically to that video, to, that video. <laughs> to watch that. But all his joints was just like, Funny. He, he, he's yeah. a good time. He's a good time. time. His energy is just like infectious and he's just, his offhanded remarks, all that, <laughs> the skits, he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. um, and one of our new people that we, we enjoy um, laughing with, um, we actually met on the Daniel Green's Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. um, it's my man, Man Carrying Things. Mm -hmm. I can't remember his actual name right now. But uh, he does these, uh, and I'm sure you all have seen it. He does these like 90 sitcoms of like storm, storm like characters. And so it'd be like Dalinar and Adolin. And like, so he has like a laugh track in the background. Mm -hmm. And he'll say he something like this. I saw a video of him pretending like he was. Um, Stephen King and um Sanderson, Sanderson. calling each other yeah <laughs> that that joint was hilarious um so he's doing those pretending <laughs> things so he does these skits and these comedy joints and they're funny they're just they're just flat out funny and it oh, makes me yeah. laugh um who was on, who was on the, the um the, the Jeopardy with Dan Green yeah. this dude done pulled out a whole like he, like, like rotary eight, phone, yeah like, right. <laughs> Like, the, what if the joint's just like this? <laughs> yeah, the two-piece <laughs> joint. Yeah. He's just funny, man. He has this, like, dross of humor that's just it, that it lands. Hilarious. So, no. Nah, yeah. My man, man, carrying things is dope. <laughs> um, so, two more questions. Who is the best reviewer? Someone you will talk about a book with and you will automatically add to your TBR. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the first person I put is Philip Chase. He gives me, like, that professor that you enjoy going to his class, right? Like, you, we all, you know, you're in the college. And you got this professor, and you like, oh, like, I enjoy listening to this dude. Like, yeah. like, I, like, I can record his sessions and play him back, and like, this is entertaining. So, yeah. his his presentation and his way of, you know, very clean cut look and very clean cut saying things, um, it's very good to me, and it, and it helps me retain the information and and look forward to what he's saying. Phil spit that knowledge. But he does. He does. Um, and the second person uh, is our homie Aaron from Booked and Busy. Aaron just got that energy. She will say, she will immediately say, it sucked, I hated it, it was trash. And you're like, oh, that book was garbage. Like, I ain't even gonna question it. And then she's like, this is the best book I've ever read. Um, five stars. If you ain't reading this book, you ain't a fantasy fan. And I'm like, I need to read this book right now. Because Aaron said, I'm not real fantasy if I don't read this book. So she just comes off with that, like, mm. no, that A, A Money got, like, I trust her so much. We trust her, 100%. I won't even have to look up a book if she was like, yo, read this. Yep. Like, I feel like she she knows kind of what we like. Yep. And, like, yep. she could just be like, boom, hey, read that. Y'all rock like with it. this. We sure. We yeah. sure. I'm like, all right, no questions asked. We trust you. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, nah, no doubt. I, yeah. yeah. Last question. Uh, which booktubers has a reading taste that aligns with yours? Uh, so, two people. One is our um, brown skin brother. Uh, Alex Nevis. <laughs> uh, I feel like us and Alex are on every wave except for that Cowboys wave. He be putting that Cowboys stuff on. I, 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 I make some jabs about him about that. Obviously, he knows it's all in good taste. Uh, but no, nah, like almost everything, I feel like he's really, like, he's knocked out the Faithful Fallen series. Um, he's rocked out. He really rocks with uh, Evan Winter series. Mm -hmm. He's in the Dresden series. Um, so if Alan, if uh, Alex really enjoys it. 
um, Joe Abercrombie, if he really, really rocks with it, I feel like there's a 95% chance that we're going to really, really rock with it well. Yeah. He likes he likes a bunch of that act, gritty action type of fantasy that we both in, that we like as well. Yeah. Um, so, no, I, I really I really think that um, we'd be on the same wave with a lot of stuff. Yeah. No, nah, he cool. I wouldn't mind meeting him, but I'd rather see his bookshelf now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, and um, he does have one of the dopest bookshelves book that y'all. we have ever seen. Like, um, so check him out. And yes, tell him how dope his bookshelf is. And then another one is a new guy, uh, Cam Reads. Uh, so I've watched a bunch of his reviews um, on Stormlight related things. I think he just recently read, I think Salem's Lot, mm-hmm. um, and co-signed that book. Um, mm-hmm. Just about, you know, I, I didn't really realize it was about vampires, so yeah. co-signed about the vampires in that one. Uh, so I think he's someone who's coming up that we. I'm, I'm finding out like, oh, like you like Sanderson and you like some Stephen King, you like some horror, you like some fantasy, like that's what we like. So, um, you know, he's 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 putting those out and I'm aligning with those. So shout out to you, Cam. That's it. That's our book two gratitude tag. We could we could run this list back in a couple months and have 15, 20 people. There's so many people so that many we people. thoroughly enjoy yeah. and we probably will run it back. We might run it back at any year around, you know, Thanksgiving to show our gratitude out for some more dope people. Uh, but this is, these are the first people who came to mind that we really enjoyed their content. So if all their channels will be down in the comments below, if you haven't heard them, um, check them out, subscribe. If you really rock with them, give them some likes, some thumbs up, some comments, all of that, uh, because we thoroughly enjoy them. If you made it to the end of the video, give us that handshake emoji. You know, I think it's in the joint where like two hands is like that. Like this? It look like that, something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Give us give us um a couple of them.